the 30th of June 2009 here at Taunton School and we have an interview with Freddie Noller. Did you always have hope? I am the eternal optimist and this is the reason why I'm alive today because I saw so many people who are pessimists they didn't, couldn't survive, they gave up and they died very soon. It's important to have hope. Whilst at Auschwitz and various other camps, um, did you find that you worked yourself into a routine? There was no question of a routine. I had to take things as they came, day by day. Do you suppress the bad memories? I suppressed it for 35 years. I just didn't want to talk about it. One day, my daughters put it to me and, and I couldn't resist it. Your grandchildren should know what their grandfather is. And somehow it made sense. This is when I started talking about my ordeal. Which was the worst camp? Well, definitely the worst camp ever was the last camp, Bergen-Belsen. There was no food whatsoever. We really, people died of starvation because there was no food given to us for five weeks. There was one tap of water where we had to queue up for six hours for water. We ate grass roots, we dug into the ground trying to find any, anything edible. And I even saw um, prisoners finding sharp stones and going to the, to the many dead people who were lying on the ground there. Cannibalism was absolutely right in Bergen-Belsen. Um, Mr. Noller, did at any point you ever... Uh, call me Freddy. Oh, <laughs> Freddy, at ever, any point did you um, ever start to doubt your faith in Judaism? Never. I still held my faith. And funnily enough, I must tell you, I, in camp, very often, I spoke to God. You gotta believe in something. And um, do you reckon you would ever be able to forgive Germany? Mm, done? Never. I could never forgive nor forget what they have done.